And it's not over yet. It's not. Yeah. But we need a breather. Is that where we're going to get? For a second. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks. You, you like cats? Oh, sure. Okay, I've got one for you. So, And this comes from uh, a researcher out of the University of Nevada, Reno, who lives in Truckee. He's actually one of the foremost experts on fire NATOs. But he's also oh. very prolific on social media. And look what he shared this morning. This is a picture from his front door when you open the front door, and that's his cat. <laughs> so what do um, I do? he put a whole series of these out. I'll spare you the whole series of pictures. But the cat's great for scale, but it's not enough. If you look at the snow, you see where the cat's head is? See that dark line there? That is where the level of the snow was before this storm started yesterday. So everything from that line up is the snow he had this morning. He's got more now. But he measured that this morning, and it was three feet. So uh, Kelsey's up there, and she's given us wonderful live looks of where the snow is now as the sun's going down. But that's, that's kind of an up-close personal from one of the residents there from where things were this morning with three feet of snow. All right, a little bit of perspective on the situation up in the Sierra. When we, when we look at... The messaging that's been coming out on this storm, the Storm Prediction Center has put out an image that kind of helps drive the point home in terms of the snow, uh, and it shows that they're in an extreme risk level there still all the way through today. But this one might tell that story just as well. This is how much snow is still to go on top of what they've already gotten. So I was talking Neil's got more at his house since this morning. This is starting from right now and going forward until we get through about the next 24, 36 hours. The real time frame still to go is between now and 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So that's why the blizzard warning goes until 10 a.m. And remember, the blizzard warning is primarily trying to communicate the risk of reduced visibility because of the wind. The blizzard warning isn't really telling you about snow totals. Blizzard warnings are, and the, and the definition of the word blizzard is defined to describe the conditions you're stuck in while that snow is falling because the visibility goes to nothing because the wind is so strong you can't see in front of you. That's still a concern until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Here's the snow side of it uh, in detail. Just to look at it with the uh, specifics, snow level getting down to 2,500 feet. So far, it's been down to around 3,000 feet. So it still has some more to go to get down the mountain. And there's a closer view up near the Sierra Crest where we're still looking at more accumulations. By the way, see that line of purple there? There have been measured wind gusts on some of the higher peaks at the resorts along the ridgeline, uh, nearing 190 miles an hour. That was a very um, ra rare, isolated event. Nonetheless, it, it seems to be a legitimate reading. However, when you get off the peaks like that and you look across the rest of the Sierra, the gusts have been around like 60 or 70. All of a sudden, now that sounds good, but 60 to 70 is intense. But look at how the Sierra is lined up here. If you look at the winds in the upper levels, like around 7,000 feet out here, we would never feel that where we live. The winds are a lot stronger up there at 7,000 feet. The Sierra is up to 10, 12, 13,000 feet high. So that wind rushing across the Pacific races over us at 8,000 feet. We don't feel it. But the Sierra sticks up right into it. And that's why the wind is so much more intense in the mountains and why the wind has been such a big factor there. In terms of the snow here at home, like from we saw John's package, just because that little layer of snow melted from John's visit, there's more coming. We'll get some more light snow up there through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. So if you think you missed your chance today, you may still have one tomorrow. But this is a bigger deal in the North Bay. Uh, Mount St. Helena will get like several inches, but look north of there. Because now we're talking about the communities through Mendocino and Lake County. Clear Lake, Ukiah, you guys stand to see a couple of inches of snow fall. And these are communities that don't often get that or have to deal with it. So from a snow standpoint, locally, that might be one of the bigger issues. And of course, we talked about the wind and I'll go into more detail on speeds later. I just want to leave you with a final look at where we are in terms of what this storm is still going to throw us from a rainfall standpoint. And to review what I showed you at the top of the newscast, it's going to stay like this tonight through about midnight. And then as we get into tomorrow, this will turn into somewhat more isolated on again, off again showers with the occasional thunderstorm. We can't rule out a chance for a thunderstorm tomorrow either, but there will be less of them tomorrow. And then by Monday, we're done. We'll get a nice break. And then there's another system out here for Tuesday and Wednesday. It doesn't look big, but there is still more light rain coming our way for the middle of the week.